Boardwalk Hollywood, welcome to Hollywood Unleashed. Hi, I'm Gina St. John. On the hit series, Will and Grace, Megan Mullally's character, Karen, often refers to her friend Jack as her poodle. Megan insists that it's a complete coincidence that she herself owns a poodle. As you're about to find out, it was also a bit of an accident that she ended up choosing the right dog. Megan Mullally plays one of the most popular characters on television. As the rich, self-absorbed assistant on Will and Grace, this Emmy award-winning actress turned a supporting role into one of the show's main attractions. In real life, Megan has a sidekick of her own who demands her share of the limelight. She's a miniature poodle named Willa. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. I am ready. She's really loving, and I think partly because she's a rescue dog, she loves to be loved. Then she also has a really playful side, and she loves to run around and leap around and kind of cavort. Megan adopted Willa from Sally Perkins, who specializes in rescuing poodles. Jack? Sam? Just a minute. Don't be greedy. The two women were introduced by their mutual friend, Terry Austin, who also rescues dogs. When Megan first called me about getting um, a dog and she decided she wanted a poodle, she actually wanted a much larger poodle than what she ended up with Willa. She wanted a standard. But the poodle lady had a different idea. She originally called me for a standard, which are the big ones. Now, they're very rambunctious. They're puppies for two and a half years, and I felt a smaller one would be better for her. And I was like, I'm not interested. And she was like, all right, well, let's uh, go out and walk some standard poodles. And so we did, and they were literally dragging me down the street like I was, you know, like I was made of Kleenex. I brought out Willa, who is a miniature poodle and very young and very scruffy looking. And I was instantly just completely madly in love with her. So she was right. It's been that way ever since. That feels good. Oh, it feels nice right there. You can't really describe what having an animal does. I have never felt mad at her or disappointed in her. If I come home and I'm tired or I'm stressed out, that instantly all just drops when I see her. Willa has also brought out Megan's maternal instincts. Come on, I'm 42 and I don't have any children. It's also for the first time made me understand what it would be like to have a child because I never had had that innate like mother lust that most women have and, and I feel like having a dog makes you understand what it would be like to be a parent. And as they say, like mother, like daughter. This is her baby. And there are times where she'll go get it and she'll start doing circles in the house and she'll cry and I think it's some maternal instinct like she's got her baby and she's trying to like figure out where where to put it in a nest and protect it and she'll just be like mm, with her baby. <laughs> I don't know why it's a weird like fantasy in her head that she has not that Megan is against her stuffed animal but the actress is thinking about getting Willa a real life playmate so once again with her friend Terry it was time to pay another visit to the poodle lady this That's is where Willa and I met, right here. Is that right? Right, yeah. right there in that chair. I told Megan that it was important when you get a second dog that her dog Willa meet the other dog in some neutral territory. It's never a good idea to arrive home with a new pet because it makes your dog feel very threatened. Do you want to lead the way, Willa? She is. She knows exactly where she's going. <laughs> Should I lift her up to ring the bell? Or? <laughs> Maybe she'll do it herself. Hi. Good morning. Welcome to the Poodle Palace. <laughs> Unlike the last time, Megan doesn't know what kind of poodle she wants, but there is a personality trait that would be a deal breaker. I don't think that a real hyper dog would suit her or me, so uh, we'll see how she does today. Okay, Willa, it's your big moment. Now, there may be a lot yeah. of trembling and furious barking, so I'm just warning okay. you in advance. We're going to try our best okay. and have to maintain composure. Come on, baby. I'm Willa, take me home to live with you. I'm Willa, don't you recognize me? <laughs> After the running of the poodles, it was time for Megan and Willa to get to know each one in the group personally. Just a lot of peeing and pooping. It doesn't seem to want to interact with the other dogs. Is that a boy or a girl, that big one? Hi, darling. That's a cute You're pretty. <laughs> Jack is a standard. Hi, beautiful. And look at Willa saying, I might want to see Jack. 
<laughs> 40 pounds. Well, <laughs> we should swap. Okay, we're gonna swap poodles. This is... Now, what do we think, Will? Hey. No, that no. no. I'm maybe. surprised that she's not more flippant. No, out. she seems very calm. <laughs> Little boy poodle. Oh, oh, and that was a no. I think she does like girls. Probably a dog that's a little more submissive. So that she can be the Hey, 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 that's not necessary. So that she can be no, the queen no. bee. Nobody needs it. Nobody wants it. No. All in all, Megan and Willa met over 30 poodles. I was surprised that she was able to run around and play with all the other dogs like that. That was really cool. She was, seemed like she was having a good time. But uh, when we kind of got them on one-on-one, -on -one, I felt like she liked the smaller females a little bit better and less less threatened I suppose. Probably the best idea is to sleep on it and maybe visit again. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we'll sleep on it. Okay. Although the jury is still out about whether Megan will get a second dog, she knows if she does, it will definitely be a rescue. I think everybody should rescue their pets because those are the dogs that really need you. I guess that's what they say about about rescue dogs is that, you know, I don't necessarily like that word, but that they're really grateful. Still to come, Bill Maher on the ups 